Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. So, objective of our today's simulation is to calculate heat of vaporization of different solvents in heater block using Aspen Hysis. And we have to understand the impact of heat of vaporization while choosing a suitable solvent for distillation column operation. In problem statement, we have been given the three solvents, water, three methyl hexane, and 112 trichloroethane. And we have to select a suitable solvent which is having the lesser heat of vaporization. But before that, what's the impact of heat of vaporization on the operation of the distillation column? We have to read some background that the driving force for distillation is energy. And the most energy consuming part in a distillation column is reboiler, which vaporizes a material and causes vapor to flow from bottom of the column to the top of the column and heat of vaporization determines the amount of energy required to vaporize the solvent. So it means that the solvent with high heat of vaporization require high energy and the low heat of vaporization require low energy. So we have to select a suitable solvent having low heat of vaporization so do it, that we can achieve the same degree of separation with less energy. It means we have to choose one better solvent based on heat of vaporization. So let's go back to Aspen Hysis. You all know how water is added. 3 methyl hexane. As you see, it's added over here. 1, 1, 2, trichloroethane. And you see, 1, 1, 2, trichloroethane. So this is added over here. We have selected for this simulation the package Uniquack. We have already this fluid package selection in our Video number five, whose suggestion will be appearing to you right now at the top of the video, and I have provided its link in the description as well. And for vapor water model, we have selected RK. So going to simulation, we know we have to use heater block. We have already used this heater block in our previous videos. So quickly doing this connect. So as you see, I have all done the connections: water inlet, W inlet, water outlet, and E of water means energy required for the water heater, and its name is water heater. So going to worksheet, condition given is 1 bar, 1 kg mol per hour. With composition, since it's water, so it will be 1, other will be 0. This stream is not converged yet because its degree of freedom is 4 and we have given 3 parameters. We have no information regarding temperature, but since we are calculating the heat of vaporization means water is entering the system in liquid state and then it's completely vaporized. So it means it's liquid state, so vapor value will be 0. And it's completely vaporized means vapor value will be 1. And as you see, its value is 9535. Similarly, we will do the connections of second one. Similarly, I have made the connections of second heater, which I have labeled as MH methyl 3 methyl hexane heater. MH inlet, methyl hexane inlet, outlet, and energy required for methyl hexane inlet. So vapor is 0, pressure is 1 bar, flow rate is 1 kg mol per hour. Composition for water it's 0, so 3 methyl hexane it's 1 and it's 0. Going back to conditions, it's now 1 and it's 1. So this value is 7295 kilocalories per hour. Similarly, doing the connections of third heater. Similarly, I have made connections for the third heater that is trichloroethane. TCEH is the heater name, TCE inlet, outlet, and energy required for this heater. So similarly, vapor is 0, pressure is 1 bar, flow rate is 1, composition for water is 0, it's 1 for trichloroethane, 0 for methyl hexane. And similarly, it's 1 because it's completely vaporized and pressure is 1. So as you see, it's 8005 kilocalories for us. We have received the information regarding these three solvents that how much heat of vaporization will be or how much energy is required to completely vaporize these three solvents. Let me take to you to the Excel sheet where I have pasted these that as you see it's 9535, 7295 and 8005. So the best solvent based on the lesser heat of vaporization is 3-methylhexane followed by trichloroethane and least suitable is water. For the same condition means we have selected the same flow rate. This should be noted that flow rate and the pressure condition in all these cases should be same to get the accurate information. So that's all from my side for today's simulation exercise. Please do watch the video, like the video, subscribe the channel, Aspen Tech channel. Till then, it's goodbye. See you next time.